Example, 0 0.234 times 0 0.251. And let's line it up like this. Recall that the zeros out front here are just to highlight the decimals. We'll start with the one on the bottom here. We recall that one times any number is just the number itself. So we can just write down 234 right here. Next, we'll deal with the five. We add a zero down here in this line and then begin. Five times four is 20. So we mark the zero down and carry the two. Next, five times three is 15. And we add our carry two to get 17. We'll place the seven here and carry the one. Next, five times two is 10. And we add our carried one for 11. Next, we deal with the two. We add two zeros down here and start. Two times four equals eight. Two times three equals six. And two times two equals four. And as a final step, we add the three parts of our final answer. Four plus zero plus zero equals four. Three plus zero plus zero equals three. Two plus seven plus eight equals 17. So we'll mark the seven and carry the one. One plus six is seven plus the carried one equals eight. And one plus four equals five. Now, where does the decimal go? Again, we count the total number of decimals involved in the numbers that we're multiplying. There are three decimals in the first number and three decimals in the second number. So we need to have three plus three or six decimals in our final answer. So counting out our decimal places, one, two, three, four, five, and we'll jump one extra space to get six. In our last jump position here, we have to put a placeholder zero. And we could also add a zero at the beginning to ensure that the decimal is noticed. So that our final answer here is 0 0.058734.